This podcast may contain Sorry. explicit language <laughs> and maybe some other sexual things. <laughs> Your discretion is advised. <laughs> Radio, your home for gaming, anime, superhero news, and entertainment. Grab your chainsaws and prepare to feast. Here are your hosts, Randy and Luigi. And welcome to a brand new episode of Gassy Radio, Halloween month, motherfuckers. I am so excited right now, and I don't even know why. I know, and I mean, we recorded this on a Monday, We're right be- we recorded it before we did our first streaming of Resident Evil, this comes out on Wednesday, so I hope you enjoyed the streaming of Resident Evil, whoever won, if anyone won, the first prize, congratulations. Thank you, Darren Marlar, as always, for the awesome super duper voiceovers. Thank you to our sponsors, Formula 350 Collectibles. Soon they're going to, uh, not this coming weekend, but the next weekend, they're going to another convention. As we get closer, we'll promote them as well. And thank you to all of our fans, because without you, we are nothing. That's right. I mean, we're, we're still something. But without you, there's no point of... Gassy. Actually, I mean, to be completely honest, I would still we would still be doing this regardless, so fuck you. But at the same time, <laughs> thank you. Anyway, let's go into our gaming section. Pass me a control and grab that beer. It's game time. All right, guys, and we are in the gaming section. I do have a great review for you guys of J-Star vs. Victory. Plus? Plus... You may have watched us live stream yes. playing it the other day. Yes, I don't remember the exact order of the words. You know how the Japanese are. I love y'all, but good cooks. order, <laughs> order to go. They have good food. Order, yes, order to go. Good food. Um, but anyway, uh, the game's fun. Um, I played a little bit of Luffy's um, starter uh, and Ichigo. Um, mm. The game is basically you journey around as a pirate and fight other characters from other animes that are also pirates. Corn's Towers in there. Corn's Towers. Tommy House. In, yeah, like there's a lot of good stuff in there, but it's just, I don't know, it's a little odd of a game because I don't, like I understand where they got the whole pirates thing, but now everybody's a pirate. Right. Just to fit the one stereotype of the one anime out of the 3,000 they have. Right, right, right. So, I I just think that's a little weird. But other than that, it's actually a really fun game. Um, me and Randy played it a little bit. He enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. Um, some of the controls are a little wonky. But I did find some uh, interesting things out, like transformations. There are transformations in there. So, go, go, go Super Saiyan? Go Super Saiyan. Okay, so go yeah. Super Saiyan. Go, go. Yeah. Uh, uh, Ichigo can go hollow form, and uh, Hiei can actually pull out his third eye by uh, raising his Not his dick, his actual third eye. Yeah, his actual third eye. So then he actually does have a power-up. So every character essentially has a power-up if you charge up their power level. But, I mean, that's that's pretty much it for the game. It's enjoyable, there's transformations, it... it, it Pretty much hits all of the criteria, but the only weird thing is the pirate thing. I just don't get it. Not everyone should be a pirate, considering a lot of the characters can fly already. Right. And everything, but whatever. I thought it was fun. Anyway, moving on. Five Nights at Freddy's sister location has been delayed because the creator says it's too fucked up. It released to a couple famous YouTubers and whatnot for, like, the beta testing... And the actual creator of the Five Nights at Freddy's games actually was just like, you know what, this one's really fucked up, so maybe I need to tone it down a little bit. Wait, what? Yep. yep. No! And they're like, uh, No, give it to us. Give it to us. There's, uh, we talked about Chroma Squad a couple weeks ago. Well, fuck that. No offense, because there's a brand new Mighty Morphin Power Rangers based on the show, not the upcoming reboot or the old movie, called Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Mega Battle, and it looks 
fucking awesome. It's multiplayer. The Zord battles look awesome. I'm it's trying everything to get... Chroma Squad wanted to be, and they're just like, fuck you. I'm, I'm just uh, trying to get uh, Michael J. Fox to get a PS4 so he can join us. Because I know... That'll d- be dope. Uh, Double Dog, or DD Dog. Dave's getting it, you're getting it, I'm getting it. Oh my god. I call Zach. We can all share Tommy. I know we will, but I call Zach. Jason. You know, he, he uh, Dave already called Billy, so. But I got Jason. Right. I, uh, I can't I fucking care. wait. We can make uh, Michael be Kimberly. <laughs> <laughs> Dance for us. Here's a uh, odd piece of information. Ash Green Ninja is in Pokemon Sun and Moon. You can play. You can play the demo right now. I have the demo on my 2DS. Um, you can play them. You can keep them. But it's like the anime where Green Ninja's bond with Ash becomes so strong. Green Ninja starts to look like Ash. But they're giving us Ash Green Ninja in Sun and Moon, and Sun and Moon's not based on the anime. It's based on just the game world. So it's kind of pissing a lot of people off. It's irritating me a little bit. I'm not pissed off, but it's just like, shouldn't your Green Ninja be like fused to you? Why are we getting yeah. Ash's Green Ninja? It's It says former trainer Ash. So wouldn't it just be a Green Ninja then if Ash is no longer... It's just weird mixing the anime in that world in that aspect. Yeah. Just because... give us... Green Ninja is just a good Pokemon in general. Because the anime was always based off the game, but not vice versa. The games were always like set off to the side. They were their own universe. Besides like Pokemon Yellow, where it was a game based on the anime, which is based well, yeah, on that... the game. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Gameception. Gameception. <laughs> well, that has been it. Do you have any more uh, gaming news? Um, yeah, I did get a little bit further into uh, SAO. Um, not Sons of Anarchy. Fuck, I told you last week, not Sons of Anarchy. Sword Art Online, you fucking assholes. <laughs> um, it's, uh, it's fun. I actually learned that you can make your own character, but you can't have a dual-wielding character. And you can't have, like... M- some of the characters, you can't have them male. You can pick a male version of, like, the fire the fire type, the salamander group, and a female version. You can pick a male version of the, the earth tribe, but then the spriggan, it has to be female, and then, like, there's, other like, three or four other ones that have to be female. You can't change their That's crazy. gender. It's, I don't know what... That is weird. And before we move on to the anime section, just letting you guys know, again, we'll be streaming more Resident Evil for Halloween month this coming Monday when we record the next gas. So you make sure you check it out. We'll let you know what the next prize is. It's going to be a good one. And now we're moving on to anime. Anime. Animated. Assholes? Possibly. Animated asshole section. Holy fuck. The newest episode is super. Trunks gets, I can't, I'm not going to spoil it for you. He gets so fucking enraged, dude. God key starts to spark off of him, and then it fucking ends. It goes to credits. He's going to, like, bypass Super Saiyan 3. He's going to become a Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan. Yep. And I'm going to fucking cry. I told you weeks ago I will cry if he achieves Super Saiyan 3. I'm going to cry even harder if he just catches up and he's like, nope, fuck this. Blah, blah, blah. <sighs> Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan. Well, that actually wouldn't surprise me. And that's because of the fact that he's only half Saiyan. Right, exactly. So... Remember. Him jumping levels like that? It makes perfect sense. Oh, it makes perfect sense. So excited. Um, what else do we got here? There's going to be a new One Piece film coming to U.S. cinemas. It's called One Piece. It's literally called One Piece Film Gold. It's coming to U.S. cinemas. January, it'll be playing January 10th through the 17th. It's an anime? Yep. It's a brand new animated movie. One Piece. Gold. In theaters. Um, January 10th through the 17th. Don't get me wrong. One Piece is a good show. I haven't made it that far through because it hasn't really like gotten that far in America. I'm getting a little sick of it though. Mm-hmm. It's it's long. It's a it, it it doesn't drone by any mean, but it's a long anime and it's just kind of in your face a lot. So. And typical lately with the anime section, I only have one more piece of news. New South Park episode review, except I can't because there was no new South Park review. At first I thought it was only the fucking 
second or third time in history that Matt and Trey didn't finish an episode on time. And I even posted a status on Facebook about it. No, it's because the giant fucking baseball game was on Comedy Central and the creators of South Park agreed to just push it. They played all three of the current episodes. They just pushed it till next this when you're this day, when you're listening to this new Gassy on the Wednesday. The new That's South Park That's why actually I couldn't tonight. find the new one. Right, because it didn't air. But it wasn't God. because they did they didn't fuck up, which is great. Even if they did, give them a fucking break. They make each episode in six right. days. Where it takes like Family Guy and Simpsons months to animate. Which they're probably two episodes ahead now because they gave themselves a week to catch up. Exactly, which is fucking beautiful. Or they just took a fucking week off knowing them. Yeah. But hopefully they did. They played the smart route. And do you have any more for our animated news? Uh, th- no, not really. I mean... Then fuck it. Let's not beat around the hairy 60s porn star Bush. Let's go right into the hero section because holy fuck. Uh, yes, you're uh, listening to the uh, superhero section. <laughs> uh, I killed Miss Piggy and ate her bacon for breakfast. We are in the hero section. And as you know, Power Rangers... When it's not gaming or animated related, we talk Power Rangers. The new Mighty Morphin Power Ranger reboot, fucking the motion posters with their suits was awesome and whatnot, but then the fucking trailer came out. Oh my god. And it's awesome. Oh my god. No, it wasn't awesome. It was... I can't even put it into words. But I do have some bad news about this. Yeah. Here's the thing here. Um, Originally, the director of a movie called um what the fuck was the name of the movie where the kids find the alien artifact underground and they be- they get superpowers Mimsy? no not Mimsy um, oh I forgot the fucking name of the movie wait are you talking about the is, is started it, with a C are you talking about the um the first person no yeah yeah with um, some of the first per- had some first person footage in it yeah and they had the powers with their minds right right um Oh my god, I love that movie. Um, we forgot the name of the movie, but um, comp no. Uh, whatever the case will be, I found out some dark news with Fox and Saban here. The director, it's like the, the name of the movie is like in my fucking head right now, but I can't spit it out. Right. Ah, uh, we gotta look it up real quick. Ah, uh, Catal- not catalyst. Ah, uh, ah. Uh, we're going to be way, way off Found somehow. footage. Found footage. Um, found footage. Superhero. Film. Starts with a C. I know it does. Chronicle. Chronicle. Okay, Chronicle. Okay, so here's what it is. I need to get that on Blu-ray. The, the, the director and writer of Chronicle was actually hired by Saban for or a year and a half before Chronicle was made to make the new Power Ranger movie, and Fox took his ideas, but then he was removed from the set. He said, fuck that. He sued Fox. He got his his script back and whatnot, and he made Chronicle, and now Fox and Saban, they released the Power Rangers trailer, and what is it? Four teens find an alien artifact, they get powers, and the one thing that's a little off about the Power Rangers trailer is that they can jump really high and they're super strong. It is just like fucking Chronicle. So the Chronicle director is like, oh yeah, the Power Rangers trailer. The movie looks like, you know, a movie that someone was hired on, fired away. He made his own movie. Now that looks like they're copying. So it's like Fox kind of... That's the only part that's kind of sad. Yeah, it reminded me immediately of Chronicle. R- Chronicle. Oh, and then, so did I. Like, it reminded, I'm like, oh, that's like Chronicle. That's cool. It's not cool because... And you find out that the Chronicle right. director was hired on to make the Power Rangers movie, then he was fired, and now the movie, it's almost exactly like fucking Chronicle. Well, Fox and Saban are kind of both assholes. Right. So, that's the only shitty part. So, fucking, this trailer was still awesome Oh, as all my hell. God. Like, I, I'm still gonna go see it. I'm still gonna absolutely love it, but... I already have the fucking New York Comic Con movie reboot Red Ranger figure on the way. Yep. So, like, I don't care, but still, it's just like... I was super fucking hard as a rock until I found that out. Still hard, but a little... Got a little flaccid, but I'm like, oh, they yeah. had a copy. Anyway, uh... So, yeah, so fuck the motion posters, even though they're cool. The title of the final Wolverine movie 
which is Hugh Jackman's final go as Wolverine, is called Logan. It and is. the little hand he's holding is speculation, and there's rumors that X-23 will be making his appearance, her appearance, my bad, and it's also going to be rumored that he will die, and until Fox reboots it, X-23 will be the new Wolverine, until they reboot it all together. Okay. Which makes sense. Yeah. Um, yes, it does. There's also an image, and it's also in the toy packaging, of the new Red Ranger sword. And it has hints of the original, but it also has a hint of, like, the Halo fucking energy sword in it. And I like kind it. Kind of. It looks it looks more alien. Right. Which is what they're going but for. But it actually kind of more reminds me of the tail of a T-Rex. Right. So they're going for that spiritual, like, it's all combined. I like that. Right. I really right. do. I really like that. Right. Especially because the sword is, it looks alien Plus, it also looks like part of his Zord. Right. And hey, you know what? If you think DC movies are dark and there's lots of death in it, guess what? Guardians of the Galaxy, a Marvel film, has the biggest Marvel body count of all time from any Marvel movie. The MCU, first one? Yeah, Guardians of the Galaxy has the biggest body count at all. And we'll just put it into perspective right here. Fucking... The Avengers had a body count of over 1,000 because of all the fighting in New York and people dying. Whatever. Okay. Guardians of the Galaxy has the highest body count, not only in any Marvel movie all of all time, non-MCU, MCU, but also one of the biggest body counts in any movie's history. 80,000 deaths. Because it's been confirmed that it was 80,000 Nova pilots that died in the finale of Guardians of the Galaxy when they're all forming the shield around the ship. So, you DC fanboy, I mean, I love DC comics, Marvel movies, way, way, way more for me, but don't, don't fucking knock on the fucking Marvel movies, there's lots of death. Well, I, I, I mean, you can't, I, well... I mean, in that case, I mean, Star Wars kind of gets a good shot because they blew up a planet. Right. <laughs> so, you gotta remember that. Don't ever fucking say Marvel's too kid-friendly because there's a lot of murder in that one. Let's see here. Um, Not murder, just death. This one doesn't really make any sense more. War. There was an Iron yeah. Fist trailer for the teaser that was coming out, but luckily, two days later, they actually released the teaser and it's fucking awesome. I haven't seen it yet because I... I it's like the final Defender is here because they're getting ready to make the next series, which is the Defenders, which is Jessica Jones, fucking big bulletproof black dude, Luke Cage. Sorry, Luke I had to Cage. say it. <coughs> One of my friends I was talking to, uh, Blaine, he's African-American. He's just calling him the big bulletproof black dude. <laughs> really? Triple B is what he's calling him. So that's a shout out to you, dude. Um, and then, of course, you got Daredevil. And then Iron Fist, and that's they're going to be the Defenders. Fucking, I'm really excited for that. Triple B? Where'd you get Triple B? Big, black. Oh, big, black, bulletproof, dude. Yeah. Okay. Whatever. Same I'm shit. So, I'm different. sorry. Like, I was like, big, bulletproof. Dude. The Marvel Cinematic Universe is adding Blade soon, and Wesley Snipes is pushing to be Blade again. And I'm just like, dude, you're like fucking 55. Fuck off. I want Michael B. Jordan to be the new fucking Blade. Hey, if you couldn't hear me before, fuck off. Considering we've talked about this on Gassy before, how shitty he was during Blade Trinity. Yeah. He wouldn't talk to the director. He would leave notes and shit. Well, I heard that he's, <coughs> he's shaped his shit up ever since going to jail, but... Yeah, I mean, he got his shit pushed in by a couple of dudes in jail. Right. So that turned him around, man. You know how that shit works, bro. And my final piece of news... The fucking Ghost Rider and Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. is the shit. We've already talked about it. Yeah. I already told how you motherfuckers that this is the Robert, the Robbie Reyes fucking Ghost Rider where he uses the muscle car, not a motorcycle. So all you fucks saying, oh, he should have a bike. Okay, no, he's not Daniel Ketch. He's not Johnny Blaze. He has a car. God, he's, he's so fucking good as Ghost Rider. I have to see it. God. I have to. The only reason why I'm watching Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. now is because of Ghost Rider. <laughs> well, I, I love like... season one. Season two kind of got shitty. But now, oh, Ghost Rider is a good one. Mm. Yeah, because I started watching it, and I just fell off the bandwagon with that one. You have any more superhero news for us, my friend? 
No, just my super cock is super hard. In your mouths. Mach 2, WAP 7. Entertainment engage. And to finish off the first episode of... <laughs> finish off. <laughs> to, fin- <laughs> to finish off the first episode of Halloween month, even though we've already released an episode in October. Fuck you, we were a little late, but... <coughs> to finish off the first episode in Halloween month with the, fu- the first fucking entertainment section of Halloween month, let's fucking do it. <laughs> Jordan Peele <coughs> from Kane Peele released a trailer for his film Get Out and at first I thought it was going to be a comedy oh my god it, it is, is so fucked it's terrifying up. like it, it, the premise I thought it was going to be a comedy too it's like an interracial couple and the, the man is black and like he goes to the town to meet the parents and there's only like a couple African Americans there and it's like they're like maids Slaves and shit. Slaves and shit and brainwash. It's fucking terrifying. It is a good look at how society looks at African Americans today. It's right. fucking great. But it was terrifying. The trailer was fucking scary. It was. It made me uncomfortable. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Like they they like brainwash him and and he gets sucked into a chair. It's like fucked up, man. Oh yeah. Charmed, the television series, and Mighty Mouse are coming back, but they're coming back in comic book form. So the adventures of Mighty really? Mouse and the adventures of the Charm Sisters are continuing in comic form, which is pretty fucking dope, thanks to Dynamite Comics. <coughs> the new American Horror Story review. Little, it, honestly, they're saying that episode six is where the big plot twist happens and everything. Um, I'm going to tell you right now, I'm not going to spoil much, but the end had, oh my god, one of the most gruesome death scenes ever. I hope you all didn't get too familiar with that little psychic guy that everyone loves. And all those memes came out. Because he gets disemboweled. Fucking cut. And you see his intestines get strung out and shit. Terrifying. So don't eat before seeing this. Yes. <coughs> That's all I gotta say about that. Cause I, I'm already a little queasy because I'm just imagining it. Back to the Future 2. Nike shoes have been re-released. Not just for charity this time. You can pick up a pair of the Back to the Future shoes. Only $4,000. And if you want the limited edition with the glass case, it's only $9,000. Only? Only. The, dude, my car is $4,000. Fuck that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going on. No, 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 no. Wilder Vamarella. Valderrama. Fez. From That 70s Show, guest stars in The Ranch Part 2. And if you haven't watched The Ranch, my uncle and I actually watched The Ranch Part 1. Fucking hilarious. It has the premise of a TV sitcom, but they swear. And it's fucking awesome. Oh my god, they swear. And And drink. It's amazing. It's fucking amazing. And The Ranch Part 2, it already premiered. It premiered this past Friday. Wilder Vama, the guy used to fuck Lindsay Lohan. Wilmer. Wilmer. Fez, he's back. He's on the rest of the season. Well, the, the part two. I can't. It's it. The, I watched the first episode and it's fucking cool. It's it's cool seeing most of the gang from that '70s show back again. Yeah, it's really fucking. Cool. I heard that they're supposed to put everybody in at some point. I would love that. Oh, me too. Absolutely love oh, that. Oh, me too. Warwick Davis is returning again to Star Wars Episode Eight. You know, he played uh, Alien in Episode One in a cameo. He had a cameo in Episode Three. He was in he was an Ewok in episode six. He was episode seven. He had a cameo as an alien in the fucking the new Cantina. I love when War, Warwick Davis comes back. He's fucking hilarious. He's a great comedian. His show that he has is fucking awesome. But I'm just glad to see him coming back. I love familiar faces. Holy fucking shit! Ben Stiller just announced that he secretly had prostate cancer for the longest time, and he finally just beat it. He didn't even fucking tell anybody. He could have wow. died at any fucking time. That, uh, you know what? Props to you, dude. You I kept liked it. it under... He didn't want to fucking right. get that celebrity sympathy bullshit. Right. You evaded the paparazzi with this news. You kept it within your family, battled it off, and then came out and said, yes, I battled and and won against cancer. Now fuck off and don't ask me any more about it. Right. Like Good on you're you, not yeah, Taylor. you're not trying to get anything out of this. You just it happens and go, good for you. You you actually beat it. With all the force of a great typhoon, typhoon. be a man. 
cock in your mouth, Sean. The next live action Walt Disney Studios film is gonna be Mulan. Coming out November 2nd, 2018. We're getting Lion King by Jon Favreau and then Mulan in 2018. That's pretty fucking dope. Yes, it is. And wouldn't it be cool if Eddie Murphy returned to voice Mushu? Like the live action Mushu. Oh my god. So I'm, I'm hoping. Here's the hope, man. And here's here's all we know. Here's everything we know about the movie so far. Like the the clown epidemic so far. That you know, you're all fucking terrified of it and shit. It started off with just a couple people actually making an independent movie about clowns, and now everyone in the fucking world is dressing up as clowns, and now they're like getting out of hand. They're yeah. like threatening kids and people and having weapons and shit, and the first clown death was confirmed last week when an officer told the clown to drop the hatchet and instead, thinking, oh, it was all a joke, the hatchet, he started walking towards the officer, the officer's body cam footage, the fucking officer said, you need to stop walking towards me, put the hatchet down, the fucking clown stopped, but then rose the hatchet again and started to step, the clown got shot in the head. First death confirmed of a clown. Like, how Uh, fucking stupid are you? Right. I'm just waiting now for the fucking Clown Lives Matter bullshit to fucking kick in. <laughs> <laughs> clown Lives Matter. Honka honka. Well, that's the point is we've been making this fucking clown movie for like a year now almost. And it's just, it's kind of good timing. We're kind of, it's kind of, yeah, it's kind of going to be good. Supernatural starts tomorrow. Since, I mean, we recorded this on Monday, but it's Wednesday when it's out. So tomorrow is Thursday. Brand new season of Supernatural. Supernatural season 12. Mary Winchester's back. They're going back to the season 1 and 2 roots. Fucking traveling. Family business. Hunting things. Oh my god, I can't fucking wait. Me either, dude. But I gotta And the catch trailer up. rocked. And finally, finally, to end it off, the end of the first Halloween month episode. It's not horror related, but it's horror to anyone who fucks with this man. The John Wick 2, chapter 2 trailer dropped. And he is more badass than ever. Murder ball motherfuckers. I have not seen it yet. And there is a little Matrix reunion because Lawrence Fishburne, motherfucking Morpheus, is in the movie. And they're both talking on a roof at the end of the trailer. And I just got the feels. Yes. But that's it, man. I mean, like I said, we recorded this on Monday. We got a little bit of time. We're going to eat some homemade motherfucking meatloaf. And we're going to stream... The Resident Evil, but now clearly you've seen it and there's already been a winner. We're going to stream again this coming Monday, and uh, we hope you've enjoyed the first episode of uh, Gassy Halloween Month. This has been Randy Lee Beasley. And Luigi Bonanno. And, um, and Kermit, when it gets closer to Halloween, you can you can pull out your ghost stick and we can, we can settle this. Alright, bye everybody. Take it away, Darren. You have been listening to Gassy Radio. Ha <laughs>